just felt it was the most prudent thing to do. It's always the first Friday in June for the past 31 years. <laughs> Not this year. We're kind of replanning, reshuffling. The zoo officially closed to the public back on March 18th. Jazz Zoo was scheduled for June 5th. It's their largest fundraiser of the year. They considered canceling it, but say it's something they can't really afford to do at this point and something they hope they won't have to. A majority of the funds go just to feed the animals. It uh, nets about to feed the animals about $600,000, and that's, that's my annual food budget. Randy says with everything going on, it really wasn't that difficult of a decision to postpone Jazz Zoo. He says, the hardest part was actually finding a new date to move it to. So many great events in town, just finding that open date was, was really difficult. The date is now August 28th. May have to dress for a little bit warmer weather, but uh, hopefully I'm pretty sure in August we won't be looking at any uh, rain forecast. In Kansas City, Alan Shield, KBC 9 News.